This video will cover the topic, Solving a Triangle with the Law of Cosines. Let's look at an example to better understand this topic. Consider a triangle ABC like the one shown below. Suppose that A equals 33 degrees, B equals 71, and C equals 52. Solve the triangle. Here are your intermediate computations to at least four decimal places and round your answers to the nearest tenth. If there is more than one solution, we will use the button labeled OR. We are given the values for angle A, side B, and side C. Therefore, to solve the triangle, we need to find out what the values are for side A, angle B, and angle C. How can we find these values? Since we are given a side, angle, and another side, this is an SAS case, or side angle side. We can't use the law of sines right away, so we must first use the law of cosines to solve this problem. What's the law of cosines? The law of cosines tells us the following. If a triangle has angles A, B, and C with opposite sides A, B, and C respectively, then the following equations are true. Since we're given that angle A equals 33 degrees, side B equals 71, and side C equals 52, we can use the law of cosines to find side A. This results in side A equals approximately 39.3987. Next, we need to find angle B and angle C. For this, we could use either the law of cosines or the law of sines. But, since the computations are easier if we use the law of sines, we'll approach it in that way. It's usually a good idea to start solving for the smaller of the two angles. How do we know which angle is smaller? Since side C is less than side B, we know that angle C is less than angle B. This tells us that we will try to find angle C first. Using the law of sines, we find that C equals approximately 45.9585. Now that we have the values for side A and angle C, all we have left to solve for is angle B. How can we find this final angle? Knowing that the sum of the angle measures in a triangle equals 180 degrees, we can add the values for angle A and angle C together, and then subtract them from 180 degrees to find the value of angle B. This results in 101.0. So our final answer is B equals 101.0 degrees, C equals 46.0 degrees, and A equals 39.4. Okay, I think I get it. To solve triangles using the law of cosines, we must apply this law when we cannot use the law of sines to solve a triangle. In this case, where we were given a side, an angle, and another side of the triangle, we use the law of cosines to find the remaining side, and then use the law of cosines to solve for the smaller angle. Finally, we subtracted the known angles from 180 degrees to solve for the remaining angle and get our final answer. That all sounds right. You're ready to try some more practice problems.